Today, we will be learning how to find the mean, median, mode, and ranges from data. To make things easier, you can put your numbers in order from least to greatest. To begin with, we're going to start with the mean. The mean is the average. First, you add up all the numbers in the data. 7 plus 16 plus 28 plus 32 plus 45 equals 128. Then, you divide the sum by the amount of numbers in the data. We have five numbers in our data. 128 divided by 5 equals 25.6. This means that 25.6 is our mean. Next will be the median. The median is the middle number once you put your data in order from least to greatest. First, you add the total amount of numbers in the data plus 1. We have five numbers in our data. 5 plus 1 equals 6. Then, you divide the sum by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. This means that the third number is our median. The third number in our data is 28. What if there are an even amount of numbers in the data? If there are an even amount of numbers in the data, there will be two middle numbers. First, you add the amount of numbers in the data plus 1. We have six numbers in our data. 6 plus 1 equals 7. Then, like we did before, you divide the sum by 2. 7 divided by 2 equals 3.5. This means that the third and fourth number is our middle number. Our third number was 16 and our fourth number was 28. Since there are two middle numbers and we're only trying to find one median, we must add the two middle numbers then divide by 2. 16 plus 28 equals 44. 44 divided by 2 equals 22. This means that our median is 22. Now we will be finding the mode. The mode is the most repeated or common number. When looking for the mode, you're trying to find the number that repeats the most. In the data, 7 repeats twice, while the other numbers only appear once. Therefore, the mode is 7. If there are two modes, like in this data, 7 and 3 are the modes because they both repeat twice, while the other numbers in the data appear once. Lastly, we will be finding the range. The range is the difference between the lowest and highest value. First, you would want to find the lowest and highest value in your data. In our data, the number with the largest value is 28 and the number with the smallest value is 7. Now, you subtract those two numbers. 28 minus 7 equals 21. This means that 21 is our range. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was very helpful.